Okay, so in a recent video on the Micron 2, I explained how I powered my naked GoPro um, just without having to solder to the battery leads on the flight controller. And um, I think a lot of you guys probably already know this, so if you do, obviously you're probably going to skip over all this. There's going to be a few other tips in this video as well, so you may want to stay tuned for, for that because I'm going to talk about some general things I've discovered about these naked GoPros. And in the last few months that I've been using these, I have pretty much everything. I've got the Hero 7 naked, I got the Hero 6, and I've got them in the uh, V1 case and the V2 case, and I've used the uh, 1.0 VEC and the 1.1 VBC, and I've uh, powered these in a variety of different ways. So at first I was using the uh, connector or the solder pads on the bottom here, and I just, I just put this little uh, connector here on the bottom, and I would uh, use a uh, corresponding connector and I would use a corresponding connector here on the drone looks like this and this is actually this, this connector here is actually soldered to the battery lead let's give you a closer look it looks like this and then I would just put the GoPro and make a GoPro in the mount and then uh, power the drone up and then plug this in and then I would power up the naked GoPro so that's how I was doing things initially but Doing it like this was a hassle because you have to solder on this connector on every single drone that I want to use this on. And I was using these naked GoPros on a lot more drones. So I came up with an alternative method. And basically what you use is the battery lead on the, um, or the balance lead on the battery, which is this guy here. And you stick some pins in there to uh, get the voltage out of the battery. So it's basically the same as soldering to the battery leads on the uh, flight controller. Now, I, you know, probably gonna, you're probably going to see some comments down below that this is either not safe or it's going to ruin the battery or whatever. Um, I disagree with that. I, as long as you're using the ends, the positive and the negative on the battery, is no different than using the voltage out of this plug here Usually it comes out at a lower current on the balance lead because the electrically the wire here on the end is the, is the hot or the red here the, the positive and the negative here is exactly the same as the negative here it makes no difference now if you plug into one of the other ones you're going to be reducing voltage on three of the four cells here's the four cell battery and maybe one won't go down as much of course it's negligible because they camera doesn't really use that much voltage or power compared to the motors so you know it's debatable but I always use the ends the very very end and the very end here now at first I was kind of doing something like this I use these pins and this is this is the, these are the pins I'm referring to they look like this and this is the same pin size that will fit into the balance lead these come with a lot of products um, various products, I, I, flight controllers and stuff like that. I have a ton of these. I don't, I, I've never thrown anything away, so I, I always use these over again. But this fits the plug here, no problem. So I'll just show you how it plugs in here to the negative, like that. And this happens to be the same pitch or the width. So you can see that this uh, pins are all lined up here, but I'm, I was originally using it like that. And so I would, uh, basically cut off, you know, this is five pins here, cut that off and put some heat shrink on here and then solder to the ends, the wire to the ends here, so the negative and the positive. And then on the other end, I have this connector like this, which is basically the same as the one here. So it doesn't really matter which kind of connector you use. You can use any connector you want. These happen to be this, this, the ones I just happen to have lying around a lot. I have a lot of these. Um, use whatever you have. It doesn't really matter as long as they um, actually connect together and you have the polarity correct. So that's another thing. You know, if you don't get the polarity correct, if you reverse the polarity, you're probably going to blow up something, cause a fire, spark, kill your GoPro. So always, always, always make sure you have your polarity correct. That's a, a, big, uh, a big mistake a lot of beginners make. They don't check the polarity, they reverse it, and then you get magic smoke and you kill a bunch of stuff, expensive stuff, 
from a really simple mistake. So be careful, make sure your polarity is correct. Anyway, I was doing things like this and I would just plug in the whole lead like so. And this would work fine, as you can see. And I would get the battery voltage out of here. But then I realized that, well, this will work for a fine for a 4S, but then if I, if I want to use a 3S, you know, this isn't set up for a 3S, and then I'll have to make another one of these for 3S or 2S or, or 6S. So I, I went to another idea, and I just said, well, I'm not going to keep these middle pins. I'm just going to pull the one pin out of each. So I have a pin here and a pin here like this, a small wire like this, and then... This is actually going to this little capacitor and then that same connector on this end here. So this, this connector here is the same as this one. And again, the connector doesn't matter. You just have to use ones that match. And then if I do this, by the way, this capacitor here is like a, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but it will smooth out the voltage spikes. It's uh, this is a 220 microfarad, 35 volt, use what you feel is appropriate. You may have enough uh, capacitors on your drone already, but this is for those drones that may not have a capacitor. So I wanted to add additional capacitors just in case it, it doesn't really hurt. Anyway, um, again, watch your polarity. So now having it like this, I can have any kind of battery I want. 3S, 4S, 6S, whatever. And you just want to make sure you plug it in correctly, not like this, because this is the red is positive. If you plug in it like this with the the rever polarity is reversed, this capacitor will explode. So don't do that. So obviously you want to do it like this. I'll flip it over. So I usually plug in the positive first, like so. And you can see that's on the very end, and then I plug in the negative, like this. And sometimes you'll hear a little bit of a spark there, and then this capacitor will be basically ready to, you know, I guess it'll charge up. And then this end, you can plug into your camera like that, and that'll, that'll power up the camera. Or in my case, for some of these, like the Hero 7 that I'm using here, I didn't have this little pigtail on the camera, so I needed to make a, a secondary adapter. So I made this. So this connector here is this one. It's this three pin connector that goes to the back of the camera. So you can you can power the camera this way as well. But this one has that yellow wire like that. And the yellow wire goes to the flight controller and you can use like, um, I, don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's the way you can control the camera and start and stop recording via your transmitter. And I, I haven't had much success with that. Um, I have followed all the directions on various websites and video tutorials. I'm finding that I think it's very dependent on what flight controller you're using. And since everyone uses a different flight controller, the process seems to be very different for each one and doesn't always work. So I just kind of gave up on the whole yellow pin. I don't even use it anymore. Um, that whole concept, I just threw out the, I just basically threw it away. So uh, if you guys are like, oh, please make a tutorial about that. Can't help you there. Uh, there's a lot of other video tutorials out there that I've tried. I can't recommend any of them because I have tried them and couldn't get it to work. So I just gave up. So that's, that's the end of that story. Anyway, in order to use that plug here for, or this plug here for the Hero 7, which didn't have this plug on this solder on here, because I didn't want to take it apart. I made a little adapter, which is this, plug that goes to the back here, which is this here, like so. And then I use the other end, this connector here, which is basically the same as this, as you can see. And this is, uh, you can find these on a lot of like, these are the dongles for the camera control, the uh, controller board, the OSD controller board, on these um, for analog cameras. And so I just cut off one of these here and took one of those, took one of these, and I basically, I, I just, I think I cut off the yellow wire, 
sold the power, the black and the red, and then made this little adapter, just put a little heat shrink on there, like this. And then I could have basically power coming from the battery, and then this plugged into the uh, back of the camera, like this. So I'll just plug this into here. And then just plug this in. This will turn the camera on. There we go. See the little flash? So it's got power now. And then uh, you can go ahead and turn the camera on. You can see and start recording. So that's pretty much how I have um, I turn the camera off here. It's pretty much how I've uh, done this in terms of uh, getting power to my various naked GoPros. So I can I can use this just by itself. And then for the naked GoPros that have the uh, this connector, I can just plug in directly. And then for the ones that don't have this connector, like the Hero 7 here, I just use this little adapter. And then uh, that, will, that basically gives me power to the camera. And then I obviously, you don't have to modify your drone at all. You can just plug this directly into your uh, balance lead. But again, make sure you have the polarity correct, otherwise you're gonna get an explosion. This capacitor, if you use it, will explode. So trust me, don't do that. Um, that's about it, really. It's pretty simple. There's no real right or wrong way to do things. There's a lot. Uh, there's obviously a lot of different types of connectors out there that you can use. You, you know, don't have to use the ones that I used, but um, uh, these are the ones I use, and they work for me. You can use whatever you have on hand. Just make sure that your polarity is correct, and you'll be good to go. Now, um, the thing I wanted to show you here, the where I'm using the the connector here, and you can't really see it, but here's the BC board. A lot of people don't use this. I don't know why. It's these down here, the negative and the positive. Those are the same as the negative and the positive on this connector over here. So if for whatever reason uh, you lose this connector, it falls off. I've heard some people where this uh, gets knocked off, then these you can use as well. Now, the other thing that I've noticed is that um, I've been seeing, I'm not really sure if this helps or not, is that some people are adding a capac uh, small capacitor on the five volt line of the BEC because apparently when you power up this BEC, it sends a voltage spike to the GoPro. And I haven't had any problems with that. I, I have like six naked GoPros and I've never had a problem with any of the BEC boards. They all work for me. Of course, I haven't crashed any of them. I mean, I, I have had someone send me theirs uh, to look at and they couldn't get it to work. And I realized that their GoPro board was, was cracked. And I was like, well, where that, how that happened? And it was because they took apart a GoPro that they had crashed to turn into a naked GoPro, but they didn't realize that the the motherboard was was actually broken. So it had nothing to do with the BEC board. So there's a lot of those kind of cases out there as well. I think people don't realize that if you crash a GoPro and it doesn't work anymore, if you take it apart to make it naked, this BEC board isn't gonna fix that because the GoPro motherboard is actually broken. So case anyone doesn't know. Anyway, um, I saw some photos on Facebook. I put one up here where someone put a, uh, these little tiny capacitors, the 16 volt here, 33 microfarad, on the five volt line to smooth out voltage spikes from this BEC. So you could do that as well. Um, I have not done that, so I can't tell you if uh, it helps or not. I've heard some people have done, have done that to smooth out the voltage spikes. So basically, that, if you put capacitors everywhere, if you're worried about, you know, voltage spikes or whatever, then that'll help. But I haven't had any of my GoPros die uh, because of a voltage spike. And I've actually crashed mine. Um, I mean, not super hard crashes, but, you know, hitting trees and stuff like that and like falling to the ground, like, you know, 10 feet. And all these are fine. All six of mine are fine. Um, now, I've, I've heard some people like, well, they put these on like a five inch and they're hitting brick walls at 80 miles an hour. And um, I'm not surprised that these things don't survive because they're completely unprotected. That's why they're so light. There's no there's no damage protection. So if you crash this in a bando at 80 miles an hour, uh, I would not expect this to survive at all uh, from that. So just keep that in mind. 
anyway, I think that is it. Hopefully that is enough information to get you going on how to power up your naked GoPros from the balance lead. It's pretty simple. There's no real right or wrong way to do it. Otherwise, other than uh, making sure your uh, polarity is correct and, uh, you know, using a capacitor is optional. You don't have to do that, but it can't hurt. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys later.